Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to um, prepare skeins, um, make them into <coughs> single eggs by scraping the eggs out of the skeins, because uh, many times you'll catch a fish, especially early season, that it's still tight, <coughs> the eggs are in the membrane, and I like to use uh, eggs as bait, so I like to... Um, get these eggs loose out of the skin <coughs> cured and ready to uh, to be tied into spawn sacks so it's pretty simple process the only thing that you need to worry about is the blood <coughs> if you bleed your fish out when you catch it uh, there should not be any blood in the eggs but <coughs> this one I didn't really have much time to bleed it because it was bad weather. Cause I uh, caught this fish the other day. It was windy, snow, and crappy weather, so I only bled it for about 20 minutes. And uh, as you can see, there's still some blood in the vein there. So you want to get rid of this stuff. It's not necessary, but. I'll show you how to do it anyways, just in case. Usually you could just scrape these out with no problem with the bloodline like that in there. And it's perfectly fine. But uh, the way to get rid of this blood, the best way, is to grab a pair of scissors. And kind of just, um, you can kind of push the blood the bottom of the blood to the main vein from the sides also so like so kind of just gather it around in one area like this pretty much got all of it to one area and then just make a small cut and kind of just push the blood out into a paper towel like that here we go There we go. <clears throat> All the blood is gone. Um, the only thing about before you do scrape these. So what I like to do is bleed the fish out. Come home. Wrap it in paper towel. The skin. You know, get rid of all the excess blood that's on the eggs if there is any. Um, put it in the fridge for... I don't know, a day or two, maybe even three days you can keep it in there. And, um, yeah, just, um, check every day if you put it on Monday, let's say. <clears throat> check on Tuesday because the paper towel will be soaked. It'll be wet with all the blood and everything. Just change it if you're not doing it that day. Put a fresh paper towel, put it back in the fridge. So you can keep this in the fridge for three, four, or even five days. is no problem. And, um... When you're ready to cure, the biggest thing is you want to let these come up to room temperature before you start scraping. Because if you scrape them straight out of the fridge when they're cold, uh, the eggs are kind of, it doesn't come off nicely off the membrane. It's like the eggs in the membrane is, is cold and it's kind of like stuck together and it's hard to get the eggs off of the skin nicely, right? You're going to start ripping big chunks and... There's going to be big chunks of membrane everywhere in your eggs and <clears throat> stuff like that. So make sure, give them like 30, 40 minutes in room temperature. Just let them sit there and then you're ready to go. So I'm going to let these sit for a bit. And uh, these are actually really nice and big eggs. And the fish wasn't that big. It was like six and a half pounds. I got an eight and a half pounder last week that had eggs that were half the size of these ones. So I was quite surprised how big these eggs were. 
or but as you can see this one this one has a lot of blood in it you see so I'm gonna try to get rid of all this stuff here and get it ready so yeah the biggest thing is bleed your fish out for the, the sooner the better I would suggest bleeding your fish right away as soon as you catch it put it on the stringer cut the gills and just let it sit on the stringer for up to an hour I would say is a good time to get rid of all the blood so you don't have to do and deal with this stuff here as you can see I didn't really have much time and look at all the blood though we have to clean out <coughs> this one actually has a lot of blood so I'm just gonna get the blood down to the main vein from the side veins kind of like that just gently okay there we go now make an incision Push it all out into the paper towel nicely. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I really like uh, using scrape eggs over single eggs they're nice and soft um, they have a lot of scent and yeah I just enjoy uh, using them and preparing them and stuff like that the eggs or the blood will spoil your eggs so it is crucial to get this stuff out as much as possible <clears throat> kind of just work all the side veins into the main vein like so nice incision like a doctor and then just push it all out okay Try to get rid of all the big blobs of the of blood if you can.
Okay, well, pretty much got this, uh, most of the big stuff out, so these are pretty much ready to go. But uh, I'm going to let these sit for uh, 30 to 45 minutes, let it come up to uh, room temperature. And then I'll be back to show you guys how to uh, how to scrape these nicely. And uh, yeah, pretty much as you can see, nice and clean now, ready to go. So I'm going to let these sit, and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we're back. <clears throat> these have been sitting up for about an hour now, and they're nice uh, room temperature. Um, basically, you just want to butterfly them first. You can even use your hands and kind of just spread them out like this. It's a nice way of doing it. Just kind of spread them out, open them up, just like that. And then you're ready to go. Um, one thing we're missing here is a bowl of water. One second. got ourselves a bowl of water so um kind of want to wet the top of the membrane the skin you want to have the eggs open side down and skin side up kind of just want to wet the top of the membrane with a little bit of water because uh, it does dry out and it's hard to scrape so but yeah, basically you're just going to gently apply a little bit of force and just kind of start scraping them out. Don't want to press too hard but you know enough pressure to uh, start to get them going and as you can see you got some beautiful single eggs coming out the slower you go the better of a product you're gonna end up having so don't rush, take your time. You will get some membrane pieces inside in the eggs from time to time, especially on the on the edges here. But uh, you can definitely pick those out after and clean them up nicely. Just want to get this edge piece done and get rid of all the crap. As you can see, you can pick these uh, pieces with the membrane out as you go as well. Keep them nice and clean. Uh, there's a big chunk of skin here, so kind of get some eggs off of it and throw the other stuff to the side but yeah, the long the less you uh, hurry the nicer the eggs will come out look at that beautiful so basically you just want to keep 
keep going. And once you, uh, once you start getting deeper into here, you can end up cutting this, you know, the excess skin off, so it's, uh, you don't have to go through so much skin, right? You know what I mean? But yeah, basically just take your time and uh, just scrape them all out. And after they're all scraped out, I will I'll show you how to um, cure them. You can also use them as fresh as well. I actually used the um, caught a hen last weekend. And I ended up just using fresh eggs when I went out on uh, on Wednesday. And yeah, the water was... We went after a big rain to a big river. I knew it was not going to be fishable, but it's, it was going to be the last nice day before crazy snow, cold weather, and crazy wind. But yeah, we fished through a snowstorm pretty much in the morning. I had one on. Lost it. Then we seen some uh, fish surfacing near the shore because the water was so high and dirty. But didn't get anything, so we went to a different river 30 minutes away, and the uh, water was perfect there because it was a smaller river. And uh, it probably about 20 minutes in, I got a nice hen, six and a half pounds. But I couldn't believe how big the eggs were like how developed and how huge the skeins were in her it's early january and uh look like she's ready to pop in a couple weeks or something it's very weird but yeah if you don't have access you can do this to salmon eggs brown eggs steelhead these are steelhead eggs um you know many times you go salmon fishing for example and catch a nice hen but she's still tight um, this is a good way of getting nice single eggs out of your uh, skeins yeah so you know some seasons like this season for example I caught went salmon fishing a bunch of times did not catch one loose hen all September and October and probably caught about 50 fish so it's very tough to get the single uh, the loose egg sometimes right and the stores they charge you an uh, arm and a leg for them even the skeins I was looking online you can order skeins from BC they charge you 90 bucks for two skeins of uh, king salmon which is crazy <clears throat> but yeah uh, so uh, as you can see we're now we're getting like a third of the way in I'm gonna probably end up cutting this the excess membrane off so it's you don't have to go through all of it but you don't have to But look how nice these uh, eggs are coming out. No membrane. No broken eggs. <clears throat> Just very nice. Uh, an intimate process for sure. You can also do this with a pizza pan or... You know those pizza pans with the holes in them you can kind of just get one of those and uh, rub the skin egg side down through the pizza dough plate thingy and uh, you'll get also nice single eggs I like doing it this way though better I don't know why it's 
more enjoyable for some reason. You can see with every uh, with every pass, you can see if you're getting, you know, skein chunks or whatever. Like for example, here. Just like to see with every pass what I'm what I'm getting out of these, right? Make sure they're nice and clean. So yeah, the biggest tip is make sure you bring these up to room temperature. Because I've done this before, straight out of the fridge, and oh man, what a mess! End up probably losing half the eggs because they're all inside a membrane chunks and all kinds of garbage in them and ripping the membrane and it's just not as good You kind of just, if you get a big chunk of uh, eggs with a big chunk of skin, you can kind of just hold the skin and just keep scraping lightly and uh, you'll get all the eggs to come off nicely so you're not wasting too much. Like here. Another one right here. Okay, so basically I scraped the other uh, skin out and <clears throat> got some pickling salt. No additives, no uh, what is it, iodize free or whatever the hell it's called. Basically, you're gonna take some water in the bowl and add a bunch of salt. Usually, it's um. If you have one cup of water, it's going to be one quarter cup of salt. But basically, you just want to keep adding salt till the till the water can't absorb any more salt. So once the, if all this dissolves, I'm going to add a little bit more. If that dissolves, I'm just going to keep adding till it stops dissolving. Yeah? So it's just tap water, cold water basically just want to keep stirring till all the salt is dissolved yeah like I said it's about a quarter cup of salt to one cup of water is the ratio where it stops dissolving yeah that so this is where you're going to be able to see chunks of skin you know little bits of dirt whatever is in there kind of clean it up if you want if you're a perfectionist like uh, like me but yeah, we got a really nice uh, batch with no 
Not really any membrane chunks so that I can see. If you use a white colored bowl, it'll be a lot easier to see the membrane chunks here. Yeah? So you can see a little bit of red if you're using a white dish or a bowl. But yeah, these look really nice. Okay, so we let these uh, soak for about 30 minutes or until they start sinking, yeah? And while this is going on, we'll make our uh, brown sugar uh, mixture as well. So they're ready to be uh, put into that after. <clears throat> so basically now it's been about 20 minutes. You can see uh, they've all sunk, all the eggs. 20, 25, 30 minutes or till they start sinking. Just want to strain it all out. in there. While they're floating you can pick out you know pieces of uh, shells and whatnot and got all the chunks of some eggs that had membrane or skin on them still. So these are looking pretty clean now. Very beautiful. So set these aside we're gonna make some brown sugar brine now for them. Take some cold water. Maybe this much. Take some brown sugar. I just put in a lot of brown sugar in there, yeah. You want a very thick and syrupy uh, mixture. So I just put in about three handfuls of sugar. Just keep mixing it up. sugar
You basically just want to cover the eggs. No, you don't want to fill the bag with the uh, juice. You just want to kind of just cover them so they can absorb all this good stuff tomorrow. So just enough to cover them, yeah? All right, there we go, all done. Now let these sit out in room temperature for about, I don't know, 9, 10, 11, 12 hours. It really doesn't matter how long, like it, no specific time, but like at least six, seven, eight hours or something like that. And then when you go into bed, just throw them in the fridge. And next day I'll show you guys how they look. So yeah, definitely a nice batch of eggs and We'll check out the finished product tomorrow. Just sit for a few minutes. <clears throat> Let the excess uh, juice drip out. Then we'll get them onto paper towels, roll them around a little bit, and uh, start putting them in, into jars, yeah? Okay, so basically, <clears throat> I put mine into jars, throw them in the freezer. If I'm going to be fishing uh, in the next couple weeks, I leave a jar in the fridge. So, um, let's do it. Cut them in half or whatever, or a little bit less than half. Okay. Get rid of all the chunks of, uh, loose chunks of wax. Stick it in the jar. <coughs> Light the candle and then put your lid on. That way the candle burns burns off um, burns off any extra oxygen that's in there so that'll keep your eggs <coughs> from freezer burning longer. It's a good trick I learned to uh, keep your eggs fresh for a long time in the freezer. 
without worrying to uh, the freezer burn. When you use the candle, you don't want to pack the jar all the way to the top because uh, when you, if you put the lid on and it's too tight to the top, the candle will go out, go out right away without burning the oxygen off. So you want to leave a little bit of room. So. Just like that. This jar I'm going to leave in the fridge because I'll be going fishing in uh, probably about two weeks when the weather settles down a bit. Not next Friday, but the Friday after. So two weekends from now. So I'll just leave this one out in the fridge. And that's it. These other four in the freezer. There you go. <clears throat> nice sugary uh, rainbow eggs. From skein into singles. That's it. Simple, easy, and effective. So, I uh, hope you uh, try this out. And uh, good luck when you're out there, tight lines, yeah? See you guys another time. Ciao.